Not already. Welcome back. <laughs> Didn't know you were into elementary schoolers. That's messed up, man. The hell did you just say? You want to say that again? Say it to my face. Come on. Hey, stop it. That's only a taste of what you deserve, asshole. Train's already here. Whatever you want. I can't keep waiting around like this. We'll think of something together. <laughs> yeah, right. Keep your word next time, dummy. Another day, another waste of time. Wait a second. This is that dumpster. There has to be a gate here somewhere. Was it all just a weird dream? Oh, oh stop it, me. If I start to doubt myself, it's all over. I've got a lot more investigating to do. When we arrived, the gate was right here. If I stand here, I should be able to go back. At least, that's what I think. But what do I do to get it to show up? Hmm. Where's the on switch? Maybe there's a switch somewhere. Here we are, 1985. <sighs> do you know what you have to do? If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I'd be questioning my sanity. It's so absurd, my head's going to burst. You can head back and rest up. Okie no. Don't worry, I won't be going anywhere. I just need to ensure Chihiro Morimura doesn't find out. Time to pull a few tricks on the gate and cover our track. See you. Yeah, I don't trust Okino. I saw oh. that! <laughs> Finally found my inn. <laughs> yeah, that's Mona. So... You there. You seem to be able to access the gate. Who are you? Tomi Kisaragi. And you are... Okino-kun. A guy who doesn't want to be caught by Morimura. Right? Uh... Now then, won't you do something for me? You don't have much of a choice. The Gokinos met his match. Uh-huh. Oh yes. Oh yes. <laughs> well, well. You know, Mona, Mona may be annoying, but... Mona's voice actress, because it's a woman, I think, <sighs> is, uh... Pretty fucking good. Mighty Kaiju Daimos. They're showing it at the theater right now. Huh. He's talking to himself again. Usami-chan, would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, okay. Do you need something? Uh. Not really, sorry. Weirdo. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Iyuri-chan! Wait a second, this was like the very first... fucking... uh... arc for Juro. That's kind of insane. about that time. Yeah, I should head out too. See you, Miwa-chan. Bye! Miwako doesn't remember a thing, but maybe that's for the best. <laughs> Something up? Miwako! 
I'm heading out. It's nothing. See you. Yeah, that that's kind of weird. That is kind of trippy. I'm late. There you are. Back at it again with the skirt and wig, huh? What a weirdo. I just didn't get a chance to change. As I said, this is a necessary disguise. Mm-hmm. I'm sure. Bold words for someone who can't be bothered to make it here on time. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Anyway, you're going to do this for me, right? <sighs> Let's go. Get in position. That's what I should be asking you. Well, whatever. Who's that little cutie? <laughs> Hear that? You're a cutie, apparently. I'm not complaining. Hey, what are you doing? Stay back! No, no, no. There's the cutie. They might be with the black suit guys. BJ says he knows them. Natsuno? Usami! You're here too? Why? Who is Natsuno shipped with again? Oh yeah, Mira. This little guy led me here. Sekigahara's robot? I see. The two of them will speed up the process. Hello, Okino. I am like this now, but... You're Miura. Sekigahara told me. What is your goal? To save the girl trapped in orbit. Then we are on the same path. So you're here to help number 16 too? My own sentinel is there. Sentinel number 17. So that's how it is. Both 16 and 17 were put into orbit. They went to an unknown man-made artifact in space. We've briefly gotten a hold of it from here, but we don't quite understand what it is. Number 16 would know the answer. Last time we got through to her when I touched something over there, but now... It won't respond. Not even with Kisaragi's biometric ID. She's completely inaccessible now. You Amiguchi may know the reason. You want to know why? Ida did it himself. He shut down her sentinel. Ida, huh? Yeah. Something about authorization? He must have used his security authorization to issue the command. So that's what happened. You created these sentinels. Perhaps you can clear the authorization. Worth a try. Help me out. So why are you here? I can't turn down a cry for help. Especially not from the one and only Miyuki Inaba. I mean, Gucci couldn't surprise me enough as it is. But seriously, you too, Usami? I can't believe you're all time traveling. This is actually where I'm from. Whoa, you came from the future? Does anyone else know about this stuff? Let's see. Yuki chan from Class 1A? Miura kun, too. What? That guy? Miyuki Inaba? You mean that idol? Well, yeah. She talked to me through a TV program. You guys call her number 16, but she's actually another you. I knew it. That song. It sounded a little different in the style of the 80s, but it's just like when I sang back in middle school. And Inaba. That's my username. I became an idol? Seriously? The preparations are complete. Kisaragi, as you scan your ID to grant access, the authorization will be reset, and the Sentinel will reboot. Go ahead and unlock it. Here goes. No good? 
The Sentinel started up normally. I... I see. Ida couldn't shut me off. We all came to save you. Sorry it's a little late. Thank you. Access is clear. Don't worry. Universal Control doesn't suspect a thing, do it? This appears to be a simple video broadcast. So you're... Miyuki Inaba? Also known as Tomi Kisaragi. Just like you. Please tell me, what is all this? What's going on? I would like information as well. Do you trust me? Well, you're me, right? I won't get anywhere if I can't even trust myself. I was shifted to the orbiting command ship. Command ship? For the second phase of the Interstellar Development Project, it's an artificial satellite that presides over terraforming. Terraforming? The very ground you stand on is proof. The second phase was a resounding success. No way! So the D-forces were used to develop land? Originally, yes. They were designed as heavy machinery for that purpose. You mean... it's really true? We're not on planet Earth, huh? I've seen it with my own eyes. The whole city's less than 30 kilometers long. I thought it was on a spaceship, though. Ah. Okay, we're getting somewhere. Unbelievable. What about the other countries I've been investigating? Universal control alters the information you receive. It does whatever's necessary to make things appear consistent. Shukun is telling the truth. From here, I can see the entirety of the residential ward system. All of the terminal controls, too. You're able to control the satellite from your Sentinel? It does have some limitations, of course. But it is possible. Because... I'm Tomi Kisaragi. Huh? She's the one who designed the second phase of interstellar development. She was a terraforming researcher. Watch this log of hers. February 8th. 2188. Continuing my report from yesterday, I ran the simulation. This was our 25th terraforming attempt. We believe the planet is a Type 57B. In order to reach a habitable state for humanity, the process took 1,800 years. A bit longer than hoped. No further issues up to this point. Oh, and I almost forgot. At Professor Morimura's suggestion, I updated the system on the command ship. It's set to monitor the final phase. Surface facilities. Before any harm may come to these facilities, it will determine whether the final phase needs to be redone. As the professor always says, it can't hurt to be safe. Work has been coming along well, but I honestly can't wait to return to the surface. Uh, what was that? A log from Tony Kisaragi in the year 2188. She said some curious things, like redoing the final phase. You heard correctly. There's no turning back. Well, what now? The command ship will fall below the horizon soon. We'll be disconnected for quite a while. Are there any measures we can take? Yes, but I believe there's only one way through this. And what's that? Universal control. It needs to be altered, and the only ones who can do that are all of you. Trust in me, and get into the Sentinels. Hmm. So other things like Japan, or Japan means nothing. It's all fake. Fake, fake, fake. Okay, so we got, um... Not too many left. Not too many at all. We got uh, Natsuno now. Okay, cool. You know, it's starting to make a little bit of sense every so often. Uh huh. Huh? Where'd he go? stayed hidden this time. Hey, so... 
You mentioned something once, that we're the ones who are aliens. That this is a different planet. I find that hard to believe. <laughs> Not after what we just witnessed. Okay, I understand. BJ, what kind of robot are you anyway? I am an AI, only integrated into a Sentinel. There was an incident. I had to transfer myself into this drone. So when Miyurakun called you a, a piece of sentinel technology, he wasn't wrong then. The sentinel you're searching for, there's more than one, isn't there? The video logs from 2188. Sentinel number 17's memory cell. It contains all of the logs. Now that I've seen one, I need to know the truth. So I'm gonna be tagging along. At least until I get a good answer. Got it? Yeah, you know. This is certainly no time to be training. Let's go find it, little guy. So cute. Cute little PJ. Don't mind me. A small puncture on my cheek. Looks like I got stabbed by a needle. I must have gotten it in the girl's bathroom. But why can't I remember anything about it? Did I... Was I captured and had my memories erased? What if they implanted something in me? Hmm. I'm probably overthinking it. Nope. You are 100% huh? so correct. Hey, where do you think you're going? Skipping training again? Well, the thing is... There's something I really gotta do, so... You first years are such slackers. And now I gotta deal with our track room getting trashed. Uh, maybe a stray cat got in. No. Someone broke the lock in the middle of the night. I wonder, were those men in black looking for BJ? Here you go with your nonsense again. <laughs> Don't mind me. We're here. Activate gate. Nineteen forty five. It wasn't there either. Sector three, Wilson. Sector one. Where could never let's go to sector one? You wanna look there again? What year is it in sector one anyways? Twenty one oh five. Hmm? 22nd century? Access code approved. Designating sector. So I think the farther you are from Sector 0 is the farther in the past you go. Because Sector 5 is 1945. This is the only room with the lights on. Hey, BJ, you said this place is underground, right? How are things looking up on the surface? Highly contaminated with toxic levels of radiation. The environment is too inhospitable for us. Seriously? So we ended up nuking them? It was the government's last-ditch effort after the city was destroyed. And we still couldn't beat them? There were too many of them. This underground facility is the last place of refuge. Nowhere else is safe. <sighs> what have you been looking at this whole time? I'm searching for... memories. Like your own memories? After I ran a self-diagnosis on this drone, I discovered my memories were fragmented and inconsistent. Seventy-two percent of them have been deleted. They've been tampered with twice. Possibly more. By who? Unknown, though in all likelihood, the memory of the Sentinel's location was deleted then. In this facility is this era's largest quantum computer. If anyone were to store memories here, they would be at least 300 meters below. 
Huh? What's wrong? Someone just shifted to the hangar. They're coming this way. <sighs> what do we do? Who are they? They erased every last trace from the system. We must hide quickly. Wait for me. What do you think? Hard to say. I need more information. This decode is... problematic. It attaches to the part of the brain where memories are stored. It must be physically severed to be removed. The damage this procedure does to the brain... is lethal. That program... the one that severs the code, that's what's infecting the Sentinels. Right. Sentinels. I wasn't aware that control over the automated factories could be partially adjusted. You did well to discover that detail. It wasn't me. It was Juro Izumi from two loops ago. Two loops ago? Hmm? Have you forgotten? We've restarted twice since the world ended. I see. The shifting range isn't just limited to residential zones. Sector Zero makes that possible. In any case, we don't have much time. Where did you get all this information from? <sighs> from the computer and the underground UFO. <laughs> UFO, huh? Is that what you've been calling it these days? Well, can we go there? <sighs> yes, we can. You are the one who made it possible, after all. Have you really forgotten? In case you couldn't tell, I have a child's brain. The occasional memory lapse is to be expected. Now, let's go. That doesn't change when you get older, by the way. <laughs> oh, that stays the same. with her. You saw that too, right, BJ? Calm down, Natsuno. Man, if you didn't stop me, I totally would have jumped out at them. Huh? Oh. She thinks she can trust them. I saw Goto-senpai in the past. I guess he's able to time travel too. She was dressed like a kindergartner. That was Chihiro-chan, right? Miura-kun's little sister? She didn't seem like she was unhappy to be there, and there was something different about her. Goto-senpai was talking to her like she was a scientist. Hey, VJ? I've located it. It huh? was in the access log's history. My memories really were stored here after all. Really? Apparently, I predicted all of this. Somehow. We have a problem. What is it? I'm unable to locate the memory data. They're stored in the cache somewhere, but they appear to be hidden. Isn't this supposed to be some super strong computer? Can't you do a quick search of it or something? After a preliminary scan of the cache, 9.216 billion data units were found. Oh, that's it? If I were to trace every unit, I'd need about 80 days. I must have left some kind of hint. Something to identify the data unit. Identify? What do you mean? Each unit is a three-dimensional construct. Their coordinates consist of two alphabetical letters. NM. NM. As well as two numerical values. Uh, his initials and then the sentinel number or something. Met. Oh wait, BJ. Oh yeah. Uh, oh my god, I completely forgot. I just assumed BJ was your name, but maybe... BJ? That's the name you gave me. No, I didn't. You're the one who said it. I have no logs of this exchange. Wait, let me think. Yeah, it was something like... BJ 11-5... BJ 11-5. So, was that it? Yes, I've located it. Oh, right! And? Sentinel number 17. I know its location. So? Where is it? At an altitude of 500 kilometers. No way! So, it's up in the sky? Yes, in an artificial satellite orbiting the planet. Orbit? Like, 
In space? I cannot access it from here. Let's go. Where? To space? To the place Renya Goto mentioned. The UFO. Hmm. Okay, and then we meet up with What's-Her-Face over there. I see, I see. So we can either continue with uh, Not's Nose or do I. Or A. Um. Yeah, let's do... We'll finish Not's Nose. Right. God damn, Shinonome. Year student. Did you need something from us? Um, excuse me. Excuse me. Okay. It's open. <gasps> Where's BJ? There you are. Hiding in the laundry basket, huh? Wait, was that girl... was she looking for you? It seems likely. You think she's working with the men in black? Her affiliation is unclear. However, her intentions... She wants the logs, doesn't she? Correct. For information on technology and the future. People are starting to suspect me. We gotta hurry and find that sentinel. It's only UFO, right? You said UFO, but it was manufactured in Japan, wasn't it? It is the name of a control system. <sighs> right. So, where do we find it? The gate. Let's go to the gate. Okay. My bag's been open too. She must have looked in here. That's just rude, Shinonome. That is very, very rude. Second year could be outside still. Don't worry. If I see her, I'll just sprint right on by. I don't see her. Yeah, okay. That's easy. Just make sure to skip over 2020 and 2021. Don't, uh, <laughs> don't, don't go to those. We're here? Jeez, this place is falling apart. I guess 2025 got hit pretty hard too. There's something on the ground. It's a student ID from my school. Ryoko Shinonome, class 2A. This picture, that's the girl I saw in the track room. How'd this get here? This place is in ruins, but it almost seems like someone's living here. Is the UFO close by? It's 1.7 kilometers away. Hey, don't leave me behind again. We're supposed to stick together. Stop right there. <sighs> Shinonome-senpai? Wait, did you time travel too? I've been waiting. I knew you'd be here. This is 426's hideout. You're working with him, aren't you? 42 who? 
the heck are you talking about? I've never been here before in my life. Don't play dumb. I'll deal with you later, Natsu no Minami. And when I do, you will tell me where he is. But right now, my mission is to take that data unit back with me. Now hand it over. Ryoko Shinonome, you're being used. There's a reason they want you to find me. It's to prevent you all from seeing the logs and uncovering the truth. I don't care about that. Even the logs about you and Tetsuya Ida? <sighs> You're not taking BJ. Out of my way. God damn it, Shinonome. Forgot how stupid you were. It's freezing. Wait, where am I again? Oh crap, that's right! PJ! Maybe he's... Nope. Never mind. PJ! He's not here. PJ! Not over here either. What a mess. With the way things are, it's looking pretty grim for me. I can't go home. Hmm. Okay, one more. What? Oh, I gotta do Yuki's. I actually think this works out, because Yuki is, yeah. It looks like one more story arc. Alright. Yeah. Aiba, where could she have gone? Forget her. I need to find Nachan. I should check with Sekigahara if there's been any progress. Anyone there? Are you in here? Where is he? He said he was gonna be hiding around here. Maybe he's still looking for her. Or maybe he got caught. <sighs> Gahara, what happened? The nanomachine separation inside the brain is progressing. What does that mean? He is in the same condition as Ryoko Shinonome. <gasps> um, hey. I still have my memory. I just ran out of my pills. Don't mind me. You were searching for Natsunomi Nami. We've determined her location. She's in Sector 3. What? Miura? It is only speculation, but there is a high probability that she is there. Okay, great! Let's go get her! Oh, wait. Sekigahara. Go without me. I just needed to tell you. Besides, the black suits are only after me now. It'd be bad if they think you're my accomplice. Better to avoid being seen together at all. Come over here. What is it? What is this thing? Take it with you. I don't know how to use it. You'll need it to save Minami. <sighs> I need to ask you a favor in return. I always love when people don't know how to use a gun. Like, okay, obviously I'm, it's more complicated than just pulling the trigger, but it's pretty easy to figure out. Miura is carrying a message for me. If I were to ever lose my memory, I need you to show me that message. Will you 
be okay by yourself? <sighs> Myself is just about all I can handle. I'm sure Shinonome's medicine is in the nurse's office. Miura seems to be in a hurry. Please, go with him. So, where is Nachon? Southeast. 3.2 kilometers. There is an unusual concentration of androids. Great. More of those creepy-ass robots. They must have found something. Something? You mean... Nachon? This unit possesses no attack capabilities. It is up to you. I know. I won't fail. I'm ready. Lead the way. Creepy. You're back. They won't come in here, but if I take even one step outside, they'll attack. Ever since I got here, they just keep on coming. I ate my last can of food yesterday. And now the soda I was taking sips from is empty, too. Oh, what should I do? Am I going to die here without anyone knowing? Maybe come on, shoot this damn thing. Just aim and shoot. No way. No, John. I'm so glad you're okay. Yuki chan. I finally found you. You're safe now, all right? I know. But why are you here, Yuki chan? I'd come find you anywhere, Not chan. Even if I have to cross time and space to do it. Oh, Yuki chan. The Gene Molar's magnetic shield is still active. BJ! It is why the androids could not approach. You came back for me! Of course. Smell talk must come later. There are four androids approaching. Let's go. No matter what comes our way, I will protect you. With everything I have! <laughs> Yo, this game better not... Be this game better not have a bad ending. Like, let calm down, Atlas. Okay, I know what you like to do. You like to be a little fuck off. You like to be a little asshole with your um, endings. Okay, but uh, let's let's make this one somewhat happy. Okay, let, let's make this one cool. Pretty good. This should be a good spot, right? Oh, I see. Oh, okay. That's why we didn't do notch on stuff. The river's nice and wide. Plus, no one else is around. It shouldn't be a problem if the sentinel pops up here. Are you going to summon it right now? Perhaps we should wait until nightfall. Well, we're going to send it right back, aren't we? If it's only for a second, then we should be fine. I want to change the registered pilot of sentinel number 17 to you, Natsuno. Wait. Right here? Why? I was previously using Miura's ID. However, the ownership of the ID returned to him. It's because I operated Sentinel number 19. I can no longer pilot a Sentinel. In order to shift to the Sentinel, it must receive a new pilot. But this change comes with a price. It will reset the Sentinel's stored memory. Wait, that's not good. Then, what do we do? We'll transfer all data logs to me. If it's done at the same time we change the registered pilot, I should be able to secure the log data. Good thinking, BJ. That's enough. From now on, Sentinel number 17 will be. Right, right, no problem. 
I'll be the one who pilots the robot, and I'll fight together with my pal VJ. As long as Nachan isn't in any danger. Sentinel number 17 will protect Nachan. If anything, I should be the one fighting. There is another Sentinel for you. What did you say? You must work together and survive. You know it. Both processes must be performed concurrently, Nachan. It's time to activate. Okay. worked, BJ? BJ? You okay, buddy? Say something. He's no longer with us. What, what? the fuck did I say, Atlas? BJ was the only one who could retrieve the log data, but the storage capacity on a scout unit like that is limited. He couldn't store both the log data and his own AI data. So in order to make room for the logs, he deleted himself. No. No, you're wrong. He's just fooling around. Come on. Wake up, BJ. BJ. God damn it. So no one asked for that, okay? That adds nothing to the story, just to just to make people feel like shit. Fuck you. Alright. God damn it. Alright, let's see. How many do we have left? One, two, three, four, five, two, Okay, looks like we have um four people left. And two of them are pretty close, and one's not close at all, so. I imagine there'll be two or more vid probably three or four more videos, maybe. We'll see. God damn it, BJ. Stupid Atlas. Alrighty. I shall see you guys next time.